Good afternoon. Welcome to Actions Taken for the Select Board meeting of October 10th. This is Muriel Kramer. I'm the Select Board Chair this year. Um, just to give you a little recap of the meeting. Uh, last night we had an executive session that was to discuss a, uh, a litigation uh, event, Casarino versus Morrissey. Also, um, strategy with respect to the fire negoti negotiations with the fire union and uh, discussions to consider the purchase, lease, sale, or value of real estate in relation to the properties in, in the vicinity of the town hall and South Street and parcels owned by Yumina off Chestnut Street. Uh, we then came back into open session. We um, did not have any comments at public forum. Oh, we did have a couple comments at public forum. Um, uh, the DPW director, the new DPW director came forward. She addressed uh, some of the issues that residents are having with water um, water quality. Um, some residents are having um, an extreme amount of sediment in their water. The DPW does report that they are actively working the problem and have hired an outside engineering expert to come in and help them to solution um, so that we can get those issues resolved for residents. Um, we had a consent agenda where we accepted uh, the minutes of September 19th and the October 3rd meetings. We accepted a gift again from the Children of Legacy Farms who raised $375 from their lemonade stand, stand efforts that go to the Children's Department at the Public Library this time. Um, we approved a couple of marathon fund requests, $9,000 towards six scholarships for Hopkinton residents that will be graduating from high school in the spring of 2024 and $15,500 towards a project to update the lighting in the main auditorium of the Hopkinton Cultural Arts Center. Um, <clears throat> we appointed Praveen Haraharan to um, the Commission on Disability. We appointed Jingzhu Thomas Pan to the Youth Commission, and we appointed John Cardillo to the Veterans Celebration Committee. So we thank them all in advance for their efforts on behalf of the town. We also confirmed the town manager's appointment of Lauren DeLello as a full-time grant coordinator in the Youth and Family Services Department. That is um, a, an effort that is in collaboration with three other towns to improve and build upon the community's youth uh, prevention system, primarily youth prevention for substance use disorder. So really excited about that and happy to have Lauren on board to continue that work. We made an announcement that the Hopkinton Republican Town Committee um, has a certain period of time to hopefully put forward um, an applicant to serve on the Board of Registrars as a recent uh, registra registrar moved out of town. Um, if an uh, applicant isn't forthcoming, then it would be open to um, any Republican in town who would like to help us out, particularly in a presidential election year. It's um, incredibly important to have uh, full staff. So I hope that folks will consider this opportunity um, and step forward if they're interested. We discussed the special town meeting that's coming up November 13th. The location is not yet uh, settled, I don't believe, um, but it, it uh, will be soon. We have the elementary school building project in front of us as the primary reason for the special town meeting. We do also have two additional articles that have come forward, one from the Sustainable Green Committee and one from a citizen's petition um, to eliminate partisan electoral process um, in Hopkinton. So stay tuned, the warrant is still open. So there could be a couple more, um, a couple more uh, items on the warrant, but right now there are three. Our next item of business was to meet with the Appropriation Committee and the School Committee in a joint session to, um, to discuss and uh, hear the Select Board Town Manager's budget message. Um, at this moment, with projected revenues and expenses, we anticipate that currently we have about a $1.7 million gap. We are uh, experiencing now and will continue to experience um, a slower level of new growth, which is where a lot of um, um, our, a lot of new revenue has come from in the past. 
So we are, um, we have agreed around the table. We asked that we have a, there's a detailed financial package and white paper in the, um, in the select board meeting packet that is very interesting and walks through the current situation, the scenarios and the variables. Um, the revenue picture will un uh, undoubtedly change, but uh, working with the numbers that we have now at the very beginning of the budget season, we predict uh, the ability uh, to increase budget spending to 4.4%. So we have directed departmental budget submissions to be to be developed to stay within the 4.4% spending increase cap that will allow for full compliance with town financial policy. So there are, again are a lot of moving pieces between now and when the budget season really comes um, into conclusion, but we also know that we are facing major capital expenditure requests. Um, one is coming up at the special town meeting in November to consider the elementary school, uh, Elmwood, Elmwood School Elementary uh, Replacement Building Project. And um, another would be the marathon project coming up at special town meeting. So there was consensus around the table with all uh, uh, committee members that this is not the year to ask the voters for any kind of override consideration of, of um, the operational budget. And we are hoping that dep town departments, as knowing it is difficult, will begin to build their budgets to stay within that 4.4% spending increase cap. We then discussed the town, uh, town manager's goals. And I'm gonna just find those. So for the upcoming year, the town manager, uh, town manager's key stretch goals will be one, to ensure the FY25 budget development delivers results for all residents through an equitable, inclusive, and accountable budget process. The second one is in collaboration with the select board to define, develop, and implement a bottom-up strategic plan process for the town. And the third is to collaborate with human resources in empowering and rebuilding our workforce through training and enhanced benefits. So those are the town manager's stretch goals for the coming year. <clears throat> um, the pol police chief was not able to be with us for a departmental update, uh, but did send one uh, to us. The departmental review, we discussed that a little bit to make sure that we um, communicated uh, to John Moore, who is sort of heading up the effort to investigate vendors for us. Um, so we had some discussion about what components should be in that departmental review. And at the next update, we hope to hear um, the vendor recommendations as well as a timeline so that can happen. We do know he, the chief also updated us that he's been in conversations with our partners in the school department and they've had some robust early conversations about a presentation to the select board and to the town about the school resource officer program and uh, and how it is managed and experienced at the schools and also what the needs might be going forward. So we look forward to an update <clears throat> soon. We also discussed the select board's role in police officer promotions and hirings that is in complete compliance with the contract that was newly signed in April of 2023. And we will, um, we will add this question to the departmental review so that we get recommendations from the reviewer um, and the community and the police department itself on <clears throat> um, the ways that uh, like towns do do um, conduct promotions and hirings with the select board um, as part of the process it, after the police department and the HR department has put forward the recommendations. We will, in the interim, simply be adding one meeting in advance of the um, celebratory meeting so that any interested select board members can meet with the town manager, with the police chief, with the HR department, and with the candidate. Um, and ask any questions um, that may be of interest prior to um, scheduling the 
promotion or the hiring at the regular meetings of the select board. We discussed a policy on redaction of public survey comments. The issue has come up in many surveys that people either inadvertently share information about themselves, not realizing that it, everything that we receive in that manner <clears throat> will be public information, or at times people um, intentionally put information in, um, in what might be considered um, a problematic way about other people, saying things that aren't necessarily appropriate or most people wouldn't find them appropriate or sharing <laughs> or sharing names and addresses um, in the attempt to sort of um, potentially um, uh, uh, cause issues for another person. What we ultimately decided was that we would um, make a statement at the beginning that made sure people knew that all responses were public and that they would be um, re they would be published in accordance with open meeting law. There are times when, by law, certain certain information is um, must be redacted, um, and that we would simply encourage people to um, remember to try and be civil and constructive and um, respectful in their responses. And uh, more on that as we go forward if we decide we need to make other changes. Um, we considered um, Shadul Manan's idea for putting a, a more specific framework around developing a strategic plan for the town, which is a major initiative this year. And we hope that a lot of members of the public will support and participate in that, in that process. And there will be more to come um, at uh, future meetings uh, and we will be conducting a, a strategic plan um, process with the town, hoping for a lot of engagement. <clears throat> so look forward to that. We then talked about the town manager report, <clears throat> reporting on the Main Street Quarter project, which is substantially complete. We have had a couple residents um, actually walk the project and, and put forward some items that could be considered somewhat of a punch list, which we really appreciate. So there are... Um, uh, several items that are still open to be completely resolved, but the good news is, is that the project is uh, coming to substantial completion as we hoped and planned. We got an update on the PFAS treatment project, which is, of course, um, still ongoing, and, uh, and we understand the urgency. Everybody is interested in getting that filtration system in as soon as possible, um, and are working very hard to make sure that that happens. We have um, also re-engaged with the process with Southboro to um, pursue the MWRA authority interconnection, which is the long-term solution. And so that has remained on track. <clears throat> now that we have a new DPW director, we have fully engaged her in those discussions and we look forward going forward. Um, we also talked a little bit about town employee benefit enhancements, as we talked a little bit earlier in this meeting. Um, budgets are predictably going to be tight this year, but we are looking, the town manager is looking to um, find ways to enhance benefits in ways that are not necessarily uh, cumbersome financially, um, but make it easier and, uh, and more uh, it make it easier for us to hold on to employees that we value so much. We had a few liaison board reports. There's a lot going on in town. Um, the tax relief committee could really use some, um, some financial support if people find that they are able <clears throat> to support that committee's mission. That would be lovely. Um, there is the fire station has their open house on Sunday this week. Legacy Farms North is celebrating Diwali coming up very soon. Um, and um, we are also, Mary Jo is also continuing to work with the legislators on um, possible ways to alleviate the tax impact for some of our more vulnerable residents like seniors, um, particularly as these new big capital projects are being considered. Um, upcoming on future agendas, we will have um, a, a continued discussion on the strategic plan framework and um, 
and uh, you know have a more formalized announcement of how residents are going to be invited into that process soon. We will also um, uh, hopefully have that update on the um, school resource officer program, hopefully again soon. And um, also stay tuned for the details of the vendor and the police department report that we um, would like to make sure is underway um, very soon. So that concludes the meeting items for the October 10th. Thanks for listening.